Hello, welcome back to Alice. We're on our way to Queensland. And, oh god, this is a good chapter. Alright. Oi, you there. That's enough of that. Coming a regular this, Nick Alice. What's we'll this time, Fred? Howling outside the old lady, muttering about a murder in Threadneedle Street, cursing insects on the National Railroad. Had to bring her in, didn't I? Cha 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 cha, minutes to herself. Ah, no danger to have her, surely. She don't belong in jail. Too true, but where then does she belong? Let's walk her out, Fred. Send her back to Dr. Bambi. We raised Holy Hell last time I kept her overnight. Oh, what happened? Same night Jack splattered at the waste of mother's love was nabbed for gutting that heavy outside of mermaid. Now yeah, I take Alice down and uh, we meet two coppers walking Jack to the cells. He's mad in the usual I never wrong bloke nonsense when he sees Alice. That's a bitch what done it, he yells. She screams, you miserable cur, you leech, you maggot, living off another's labour, etc, etc. I'm admiring her line of inquiry, but suddenly she hits her head on something and fights. Couldn't send her home, could I? And Dr. Bumby pitched a fit. Said he'd have me jobbing me arse on a plate. <laughs> Told him he could have the former. <laughs> Leave the latter alone, thank you very much. Good night, Alice. <laughs> you know the way out. Mm-hmm. Well, at least these guys aren't as bad as the other ones. When he sobers up, this fellow will likely go will likely ask to go down to the cells. His fellow inmates don't want him sticking up in the cells. Many of the homeless prefer an overnight in jail rather than go living rough on the street. Well, uh, back to Bumbies. What's she done this time? Indecent exposure, cockfighting, abusive language. <laughs> he said cockfighting. Hey, kitty. Oh god, it's bright. Ooh. People are reaching out. They're trying to hug me. Ah, here we go. Tentacles and such. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. Oh. Apparently it wasn't going the level that I thought it was. Ah, I remember this. So you know how this goes. Go, go through this, and then go, once I reach Queensland, and stop it there. This is so creative, I love this. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. I love this level, honestly. I know I said I love the Oriental Grove level, but I hate it because it's so long. I love this one more. It's a lot shorter for one thing, and I just like the way it looks. Let's see, what do I remember here? 
I remember having a lot of trouble trying to figure out how the hell to get through this. Okay, so that's opened. Over here is... Light? Light is useless if what it illuminates causes pain and suffering. Better to cast such things into the dark depths of Lethe, the river of forgetfulness. You know, I'm not good with, you know, mythology and things like that, but I'm willing to think that that's not a real river. R -r 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 river Yep. Let's see. I do not remember how to do this, so I'm probably going to die a lot. How did I do this before? So confused. <laughs> oh wait, I see them now. It does stay open. Okay, cool. I know exactly how this is to work, so. I'm gonna let that close before I decide, you know. Okay, so I'm gonna put that down. Run along, Alice. Open that up. Run, run. Come on, come on. Ah, 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 must. Ha! I've made it. Now, forward. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> See, they don't make the only downside about this level is that they don't make it super clear as to what you're gonna have to do next as you progress through it. But that's okay, though. Come here. Yeah. I should have just jumped down there. <laughs> Probably could have made it. Path, Alice. Oh my god. What? <laughs> the cards were spazzing out for a minute. And I don't want that. This would be a horrible time for cards to just spaz out and fuck up. Oh, I see. progress 
I think we actually go to the Queensland now. Maybe. Ah, hey. Well, this was only ten minutes. <laughs> eh, fuck it. There's a cut. There should be a cutscene after this anyway, so. This is so not cheating. I landed that like a badass. Her dress is so damn beautiful. Back to admire your handiwork, returning to the scene of the crime. It had to be done, Cat. You said so yourself. You and this Red Queen cannot both survive. She is a cancer in your body. Excise her or perish. Well, she was the face of evil in the heart of darkness. She didn't treat you too well last time. Lost your head, as I recall. She was completely deranged. You picked up her crown, but now you put it down. You must speak to her. What's left of her, anyway? <laughs> ah, all right. Well, that was nice, short, sweet, and to the point, which means this won't take long to upload to YouTube. So, hope you enjoyed, and I'm gonna pick up on chapter four soon. <laughs> Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe, and all that stuff. Goodbye.